All right, today I'm gonna to be doing a saddle review on the TX5 Reaper. What we're gonna do is put the saddle on, wear the saddle in, test out the dump pouches, see how they wear in. Uh, I'm gonna uh, check how those molly loops line up with the dump pouches uh, as far as placement. I'm gonna walk in with the saddle, use the lineman loops, get up the tree, sit in the tree for an hour. I'm gonna test the bridge and all the uh, different functions uh, that the saddle offers. Uh, then we're gonna descend the tree after an hour and test those lineman loops again, walk back out, see how the saddlebags wear on the way out and uh, give you my overall thoughts on the TX5 Reaper. Let's get started. So I'm doing another unboxing today. Today I'm doing the TX5 Reaper. I'm really excited to check this saddle out. All right, so the TX5 comes in at one pound, 10 ounces. Nice and light. Okay, so I ordered the tunnel rat camo with the winter digital molly loops. And the main chassis is OD green. Super cool looking saddle. The TX5 offers multiple color patterns and that you can choose from. So the TX5 comes with Cobra buckles. They're not reversible. The leg straps also have Cobra buckles. Those are reversible. The waist belt comes with a keeper for your tag end. Only on the one side. It also comes with a keeper for your leg straps. The Reaper has one row molly across the top. And they do give you three mollies across the bottom, right on the sides, on both sides. Now the mollies also come with one gear loop on each side. The mollies are loose enough you can get a you can get a finger under there. Their lineman loops are pretty cool looking. They have a neat design to them. A little bit different shape. They do sit horizontal. Looks like a like an eight millimeter Oplux type rope. Has a Amsteel Prusik that connects it on your right side. And it has a very unique TX5 tender to uh, allow you to make adjustments like a poor man ascender. The other side is looks like just tied on with a figure eight. Now the saddle itself has some flexible material in the middle that allows it to stretch. Now I don't know how much that'll impact the comfort of the saddle. We'll see when we get in it, uh, but it does stretch pretty easy. So there you go, tunnel wrap pattern with the OD green main chassis. 
with the Winter Digital Mollies. Just a quick disclaimer, I don't know anybody that works for TX5. I purchased the saddle with my own money, so I'm able to give you a 100% fair and honest review. Along with that, I want you to know that the TX5 Reaper is for sale at the end of this review. If you're interested, just drop me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible and we'll work out the details. So let's get into this saddle review. Time has started for the Reaper. One hour. So the walk-in with the Reaper was uh, super comfortable. Your Molly loops are easy to access with your traditional style Molly attachments as well as with your Tri-Glide style attachments. Uh, they were easy to access. The dump pouches are far enough forward uh, they're easy to look down into and see. They did not make the saddle uh, sag. Um, the saddle stayed up in position on the walk-in. The lineman's loops um, work just fine. They are far enough forward, uh, really nice. They are a totally unique design as far as the shape. The leg straps work just fine. I had no issues with them, they were comfortable. Um, left them on the whole time on the walk-in, as well as sitting up here. I've not been uncomfortable, I've not had to do anything with them. I was able to attach my paracord to the gear loop, and I carried my climbing sticks up, one on each side. You could also use these mollies if you wanted to. Uh, I chose to try the gear loop. Uh, it's real stiff, it worked really well. The bridge slides through the carabiner really nicely. Uh, easy to access for shots. You are able to make bridge adjustments on the right side. It does have the poor man's ascender. So we'll give that a try. So it does hold and uh, it works just fine. As far as bridge adjustments up and down the bridge, um, looks like we should be able to make adjustments just by loosening the Prusik, sliding that down to the bottom, and it does hold. Now I want to check the other side because there's a figure eight over here, and I want to see if that will allow it to hold its position. We'll slide it down to the bottom with the other one. All right, so it slid back up. Okay, so as you can see, it keeps going up closer to the middle on the, on the girth hitch side. All right, so it held better on the high side. Let's go all the way up. Very small amount of slip. Um, I had it set somewhere in here and it slid about a quarter to a half inch. Uh, but it does hold on the high side. Alright, so on the Prusik knot side, let's try it all the way up to the top. So on the Amsteel Prusik side, it holds in every position. On the girth hitch side, it does slip on the bottom up towards the center. It does hold better on the top. It still slipped just a little bit, uh, but it does hold on the top side. All right, well, let's sit in the saddle for the rest of the hour and 
I'll check back with you and let you know my thoughts. All right, well, I'm an hour and three minutes and 30 seconds in the Reaper. Um, lost track of time. This saddle is really comfortable, super comfortable. So on the walk-in, uh, the Reaper was uh, really comfortable. Uh, the dump pouches did not sag the saddle at all. Uh, the Motley Loops are in a good position. Uh, dump pouches are in a good position. Uh, I can look down and see them, uh, see inside of them. You're able to use traditional uh, dump pouch attachments as well as the tri-glides. The Lyman loops work really well. Uh, they are far enough forward. Uh, they have a nice uh, pull to them. Um, that's right along your hips. They also are sewn uh, to where the bridge loops runs through the middle of them. That automatically keeps your lineman's loops on the outside of your bridge. The bridge slides through the carabiner really nicely. Uh, very little resistance, if any at all. Your bridge adjustments, you do have the poor man's ascender here. Uh, it works properly, works really nice. Uh, you can make adjustments to your bridge length. They do hold. As far as your <clears throat> bridge loop adjustments, the side with the figure eight and the girth hitch holds from the top down to the middle. When you put it on the bottom side, it does slide back up to almost the middle, so it does not really hold on the bottom. Your other side with the uh, am steel and the Prusik knot, that holds the entire bridge uh, in the middle, bottom and the top. Your gear loops work really nice. I use the gear loops to bring my sticks up. Overall, I'm super happy with the TX5 Reaper. Uh, it really is a very comfortable saddle. So I'm gonna get down, head to the truck, uh, just see how the uh, lineman's loops function on the way down. Uh, just confirm that the pouches uh, don't sag the saddle in, at all and head to the truck. Okay. So, just a quick overview of what I thought about the TX5 Reaper. Just wanted to point out, there is a little bit of noise with your leg strap buckles, okay? So if you're the type that carries your saddle in and puts it on at the tree, um, I just wanted you to be aware of that. Something I didn't realize until I got back to the truck and took the saddle off, is just how uh, hot and sweaty uh, I was around my waist area, my butt area. It's not gonna breathe very well and it's gonna be a saddle that retains a little more heat. So I just wanted to point that out to you. Overall, it was a nice saddle, uh, very comfortable, uh, but I did wanna point out those couple things to you. So just a reminder, the TX5 Reaper is for sale. If you're interested in purchasing this saddle, just drop me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible and we can work out the details. Now, if you found this review helpful, I would ask that you hit that like button and subscribe and hit that bell notification for future videos like this. As always, I hope you guys are able to get out there and enjoy your own adventures. Take care.